Hello guys, welcome to Petrical Studios. I'm Chris. And if this is your first time visiting this channel, you are warmly welcome. So today I'll be, you know, sharing with you a quick time lapse of a painting that I made recently. And you know, while I was, you know, doing this painting, I really learned a lot of things. For example, you know, how to improve the anatomy color theory, line arts, and a lot of, you know, interesting stuff. And I really found out different techniques and, you know, ways to help me speed up my art and improve faster. And so today I'll be sharing, you know, these tips and tutorials with you to help you improve your art. And so without wasting my time, please drop a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And so without wasting my time, let's just dive right into the video. Well, first of all, when I started doing this piece, I wasn't feeling motivated, you know. I had my art references and stuff, but I wasn't feeling, you know, motivated to paint, you know, or to continue this painting. And so you know prior to this i kept uh drawing different stuff i kept doing different poses and stuff like that but then suddenly this idea popped up in my brain you know it popped up in my mind like right and so i had to i had to put it on a piece of paper you know in order not to forget about it and the idea was bro why don't you try some samurai anime character you know and then I was like, man, this is so, so great. Like, I really want to try out new, you know, stuff, you know, new things. And I really want to implement or add new ideas, you know, into my paintings. I decided to draw a female samurai, you know, with a sword. And after having this idea, I was like, man, let's just do it. And so this turned from not fun to very 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 you know interesting and exciting you know to paint and so when i got to this point i was really struggling you know with the color choice you know but thanks to the color wheel app i was able to understand you know how different colors you know uh work in different situations you know how different colors work with different backgrounds and stuff like that and so yeah feel free to check it out on google play store and i think you know it's really really helpful and by the way i am not paid to do this you know this is just you know my personal recommendation and uh if the company is watching me now bro hit me up man so yeah feel free to check it out to get more knowledge and understanding about color theory as you can see i decided to add some reflections you know some shadows you know to the painting to make it more you know realistic and not to make it you know static you know like a statue so i decided to you know add some details to i don't know the name of it is it bikini i don't think this is a bikini i, I think it, it has another name but anyways thanks to my customized medibank sculpture brush i was able to achieve you know this realistic you know blending detail so feel free to grab your medibank brush settings in the description below but moving on i decided to add some blending you know to the skin you know to make it more realistic and like i said you know thanks to my customized medibank pro sculpture brush i was able to you know smoothen the skin and i was able to apply you know some light to make it more realistic you know to give you the sensation that you know there is a light being casted on the skin and the skin is you know reflecting the light and i really think you know that is true you know the human skin reflects light it depends on the type of skin though example you know a skin you know with pores can't reflect a lot of light and it's popularly known as pigmentation so now let's talk about clean fine line art you know most arts that i've seen you know on instagram 
have some really, really, you know, crappy, messed, you know, messy, uh, not run out at all, <laughs> messy, you know, uh, line art. And I really think that, you know, practicing with different styles is actually going to help you improve your line art. You know, it's going to make you confident in your brush strokes, your pen or pencil pressure. And you're eventually going to come up with new, you know, art styles and improve your line art. And yeah, and I really think that, you know, studying live drawing is also a really, really great way to, or studying figure drawing or anatomy drawing is going to help you improve your line art faster. And I also think that using art references is a really, really, you know, great way to help you improve your art. And so right now I'm just adding some, you know, slight details. For example, I'm just adding uh, shadows and reflection of lights and stuff like that. So yeah, let's move forward. So now into the future, I decided to add some, you know, I decided to color or paint, you know, the hair. And I wanted to go for this Afro style, you know, because, you know, it's it's so cool, you know. The Afro hair is so freaking cool. You know, the yellow background, you know, it kind of matches so perfectly. So I decided to go with that. And also when I was doing this painting, I was really trying to, you know, find some really, really, you know, creative ideas to make this, you know, cool as possible. And so, you know, this idea came, you know, into my mind, you know, about Squid Game, you know, the triangle. And I thought it was cool. And so I decided to, you know, to replicate the design. But then, you know, I wasn't satisfied with it. And so I had to change it after I had finished the painting. And so, yeah, you know, this is the art process, you know. These are the things that I had to go through to finalize this piece. And so... I hope this inspires you and, you know, never stop practicing and never stop, you know, perfecting your craft. You know, I am not a professional yet. I'm on that journey. And yeah, I'm not perfect. You know, I'm still learning. And so are you. And so, yeah, the more you keep learning and keep, you know, absorbing more information, you know, the more you are going to improve your artwork and also have more knowledge and understanding about art and so yeah thank you so much for watching this and yeah i hope you enjoy this complete time lapse with music enjoy feel free to check out my lo-fi hip-hop channel you know i make lo-fi thai beats and i produce you know hip-hop rap and you know any type of beat that you can ever think of and so yeah, feel free to check it out. I'll leave a link there, you know, in the description below. Or you can also check it out right here. And uh yeah, that's all I that's all I wanna say. Thank you so much.